Welcome to Math TV with Professor V. It is someday in June. I'm pre-recording this since it's summer break. So here's your integral of the day. I had a request for more multivariable integrals and the directions say change the Cartesian integral to an equivalent polar integral and then evaluate. So to get started, we need to figure out what the limits are right now for the Cartesian integral with respect to x and y, sketch the integration region, and then convert. So look at the order of integration. We have dx and then dy. That tells me the limits of integration for this inner integral right here correspond to the limits on x, and then zero to natural log of four are the limits to y. So let's write that down. So limits for x go from zero to rad ln of four squared minus y squared, and then the limits from y go from 0 to natural log of 4. Now, you should recognize that this represents the equation of a semicircle, right? This is a limit for x, so x equals rad ln of 4 squared minus y squared. If I square both sides, that's x squared equals ln of 4 squared minus y squared, so x squared plus y squared equals ln of 4 squared. Now, since this was solved um, for x in terms of y, and we didn't have both the plus and minus in front of the radical, then this is just the right half of that circle, okay, centered at 0, 0, and the radius is natural log of 4. Okay, let's sketch the region then. Notice, yeah, the directions will not tell you sketch the integration region, but it's essential when you're converting your integral from one system to another, in this case, Cartesian to polar. All right, so let me just put a cute circle and then I'll just show you which part we're referring to in the problem. Do, 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 do. Okay, so this is natural log of 4, right? The limits for y go from 0 to natural log of 4, and then the limits for x go from 0 to this circle here. We were originally only dealing with the right half, but then the limits for y restricted here. So it's just this portion. Do, 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 do. Good. So again, I'll reiterate. Your limits for x go from 0 to the semicircle, 0 to here. You can even draw 0 to here, okay? And then the limits for y go from 0 to natural log of 4. All right, now we're going to switch this to polar. So you need to switch to limits for r and theta. When we do polar, I would say like 99% of the time, the order of integration is dr and then d theta. So let's figure out what the limits would be for r and theta, keeping in mind that most likely theta is going to be last, so those need to be constants. Always, whatever you're going to integrate with respect to last, those limits have to be constants. So theta, if we're looking at the region, just measure it the way you standard, the standard way for measuring theta. You start at zero, and then you go counterclockwise. The area is swept out or defined up until pi over two. So from zero to pi over two. Now, what about the radius r? This one's pretty straightforward. A little hint, if you have a hard time, just start at the origin and then draw a ray through the region. Wherever it hits is what the upper limit's gonna be. In this case, that's natural log of four. And it started at zero. So zero to ln of four. When you just have a circle like this though, it's just whatever the radius of the circle is. It's not too wild. Okay. Also, we have to keep in mind that here we have e raised to the rad x squared plus y squared, but in polar coordinates, rad x squared plus y squared is rad r squared, which is just going to be r. And then the Jacobian, or anytime you switch from dx dy to polar, don't forget you have to add an r, and then you have dr d theta. All right, for, for the reason why, watch the video lecture. <laughs> so anyways, now we have the following integral. 
Okay, so it goes from zero to pi over two. Those are the limits for theta. Zero to natural log of four. And then I have e to the r. e to the r times r dr d theta. All right, now looking here, start from the inside, work your way out. So I'm going to integrate with respect to r. Notice there's no thetas in the entire integral. So if we want, just to kind of save ourselves some stress, the limits are from 0 to pi over 2, and here's a d theta. That means you're just going to pick up a theta evaluated from 0 to pi over 2, which is just going to give us pi over 2. When you get comfortable doing multiple integrals, this will be no big deal. And then now you have this sweet little integral that you probably could have done back in the start of your Calc 2 career, okay? Um, this we're gonna do by parts. See how crucial it is to remember all your integration techniques from Calc 1. Um, U will be, that's right, R, and then dV is e to the R dr. V would be e to the R, and then du is dr. Okay, then keep that pi over two outside. And then here, let's see, we're going to have r e to the r evaluated from 0 to ln of 4 minus integral 0 to ln of 4 v du, which would be e to the r dr. All right, and then no big deal, antiderivative of e to the r is e to the r, so we've got pi over 2 r e to the r minus e to the r evaluated from 0 to ln of 4 and then here pi over 2 substitute in now we have ln of 4 e to the ln of 4 minus e to the ln of 4 minus 0 times e to the 0 plus e to the 0 so what do we got let's see pi over 2 times, this is just ln of 4 times 4 minus, this is 4, minus 0 plus 1. Ooh, how peculiar. Okay, <laughs> and I'll just leave that pi over 2 outside. And then this we can write as 4 natural log of 4 minus 3. I would say that's as cleaned up as it's going to get. Let's box this and call it a day. Hope you enjoyed that multivariable integral. I'll do more. If it was just way beyond you, then I would say go back and watch some of the video lectures because there is quite a bit of context and background that you need to get comfortable doing these. But I thought it would be fun just to switch it up. Hope everyone's doing well. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment down below. Hope everyone's having a good summer so far. And I'll be back uploading more consistently soon, but on vacay right now. And you could also catch me on Instagram and TikTok at Math TV with Professor V. Thanks so much. Bye, guys.